Sunset Offworld Robotics is proud to present the Blue Tongue 2.0 rover, our entry into the European Rover Challenge 2016. BlueSat is UNSW Australia's Society for Student Space Projects. Our aim? To take on practical space engineering projects and in so doing, give undergraduate students hands-on experience with space technology. We are dedicated to creating easy to access space technology through our satellite and ground station program, stratospheric balloon launches, and most recently through the development of off-world rovers for entry into international competitions. Our entry into the European Rover Challenge gives us a chance to push our limits, challenge ourselves to innovate, and further the goals of the society. The Blue Tongue 2.0 rover is a remote-controlled, untethered platform that communicates with its ground station via a standard Wi-Fi link. This Wi-Fi link is similar to what is found in your computer and is established via two 14 dVi high-gain antennas that allow us to meet the range requirements of the competition. In the ground station itself, the user operates the rover via two Xbox controllers, one that controls the movement of the arm and the pull, and the other that controls the actual driving of the rover. The user is informed of the rover's environment through a number of different sensors, including our IMU, and also a several camera feeds. This year we've made several changes, both big and small, to improve upon the Blue Tongue Rover. By replacing the Rocker Bogey with our new parallel swing arm design, we were able to vastly improve the maneuverability of the rover while significantly reducing its weight. Whilst only the front two wheels are currently equipped with steering, each module is able to accept a swerve drive, allowing for the option of omnidirectional control in future. We've also added analog potentiometers to give absolute positioning of these swerve drives reducing the computational cost and increasing accuracy. Each suspension shock absorber allows it to traverse rough terrain and can be altered for varying rover configurations. The rover arm has remained, undergoing several design revisions. The arm and claw can be mounted in various orientations, depending on the operations required. The arm provides three degrees of freedom using two linear actuators and it's been designed such that the end effector of the arm remains parallel to the ground at all times. Using two servos, the claw provides an additional two degrees of freedom and is able to both rotate and grasp items. Again, an analog potentiometer has been used to give absolute positioning, allowing for better utilization of the arm and giving positional information for software exclusion of the arm during map building and localization through the use of a LiDAR. The rover is equipped with a commercial off-the-shelf e-stop button which is easily accessible at the rear of the rover. It isolates power from the motors, bringing the rover to a complete stop. In the case of operator error or the loss of signal, the e-stop is used to prevent damage to the rover or its surroundings. There are a number of other safety procedures and systems on the rover. Software limits have been implemented to prevent the rover's wheels from turning more than 90 degrees to prevent cable shearing. The arm position is displayed on the graphical user interface and is used by the operator to prevent damage to the rover. Furthermore, all electrical components of the rover are on fuses to prevent overcurrent. The team has been on a tight schedule in the lead up to ERC, running regular test sessions, mock challenges and driver training. We use Atlassian's Jira to keep track of technical issues as well as test potential new features. 